showing up today on behalf of this. This is a really important uh, day for us. Hi, my name is Ken Quinn. I'm the Regional Director with the U.S. Term Limits, and our organization is the largest um, and the oldest pro-term limits uh, group in the country. We've been around since 1992, and we believe that all levels of government should have term limits. When people hold a seat for too long, what happens? It's not a good thing, right? And we see this in Congress day after day after day. They continue to kick the tough issues down the road because what? They're more concerned about their reelection. And they don't want to take the tough votes. They don't want to deal with the problems facing our nation. We've got a health care crisis. We have an immigration crisis. We have $21 trillion in debt that's not being resolved. And so what we need is new people with fresh ideas to go down to Washington, D.C to solve the problems of our country, right? How does this happen? The approval rating of Congress is about 12%, has been there for decades, right? The re-election rate of Congress is 97%. Now, why is that? Because the system is rigged. It's virtually impossible to vote out an incumbent out of office. They've got the million dollar war chest, millions of dollars war chest. The corporation PAC money funds them. They've got huge advantages. And so what we're here today is we believe that the American people finally, they've been wanting this for decades, 82% of Americans want term limits on Congress. We have an amendment in Congress now that Steve Negron is sponsoring, We're not, he's gonna co-sponsor as a member of Congress and that's what he's committing not only to the people of New Hampshire but also to the people of the United States. And so our term limit amendment in Congress is for two terms in the US Senate and um, three terms in the U.S. House. We believe that is the, and we know that's the most popular set of terms that the American people want. So we are very thankful that Steve Negron today is committing to you, to the people of New Hampshire, and, and to the people of the American <coughs> United States to sign this pledge. And so with that, I just want to have Steve. Sure. Steve, you want to yeah. Absolutely. Come through. Okay. Um, well, thank you very much. What is the deal here? We're signing a pledge for the term limits. So that was a Congressman Custer's, uh, I guess, uh, some of you. And for everybody for being here, you know, it is true. You know, as a uh, state legislator here in the state of New Hampshire, you know, we embody the term of being uh, a citizen legislature, and that's what it's supposed to be. That was always the intent of the founding fathers: is to have citizens go legislate. It was never intended to be a profession. It was never intended to be a lifelong pursuit. And so if you look at what they used to happen is somebody was a farmer or a blacksmith or whatever the case may be, they would go do their term and come back and have that ability to keep tilling the soil, to keep having new people come in and out. You know, when you have people that are in there for 30 and 40 years, you really do absolutely lose touch with them. I become, you, be, you become actually less effective. Um, we saw Representative Conyers from Michigan, um, that I think he came in in 1964 and just left in 2017. You know, even military people don't stay that long. So it's, it's important to know that, you know, we need to be the voice of the people. And as a future congressman, I pledge to you along with Ken and everybody in this room that I will abide by the term limits. I think that's the right thing to do. I think it's what's good for the people of New Hampshire. Uh, it's, it's important to understand that we, when we go to Congress, we don't forget who we work for. We work for the people that put us in the office. And that's something that's been a key thing throughout our campaign. And, you know, three terms in the House or two terms in the Senate, I think it's perfect. I think that's the right, the right time. So I want to applaud Ken and the group for what they're doing. And, you know, this is what we have to do. And currently, um, Congresswoman Custer uh, does not believe in term limits. And I believe that that kind of gives you a little peek underneath the tent that she wants to be part of that um, continuing uh, swamp in D.C., that they want to be self-promoting. And that's not who I am. I've been a public servant my whole life. It is about doing service to the public, but there is times when it's when you're ready to hang up the cleats and you need to come home. So, Ken, we're ready to sign this pledge and make sure that absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. I want to say this takes political courage because think about this: as a member of Congress, he's going down there and saying, "Listen, you folks should not be here for decades." And so he's going against the grain and basically against the establishment. So we really appreciate this. Steve. Absolutely. And on Halloween, no less. <laughs> we can tie that in somehow. And then just print out. And I want to thank all of you for coming out today to support this as well.
I gotta get one of those signatures. <laughs> <laughs> You'll have a picture. All right. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you. thank you so much. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, folks. Great job.